Marzuk Patel and Omar Butt. Our journal is on insulin regulation of glucokinase gene expression, evidence against a role for sterile regulatory element binding protein 1 in primary hepatocytes. The aim of the journal is to reinvestigate the role of SREBP1C in mediating insulin effect upon glucokinase gene expression. Transcriptional activation of liver glycolytic and lipogenic genes requires the presence of both glucose and insulin. In contrast, stimulation of glucokinase gene coding for the first enzyme in glucose metabolism is a strictly rapid insulin-dependent and glucose-independent process. Transcription factor sterile regulatory element binding protein 1C, whose transcription is also insulin dependent, could possibly be the main mediator of insulin effect of GK gene expression. Therefore, whether or not SREBP1C mediates the action of insulin on GK gene expression is still a controversial issue. Five methods were used. The first one was primary hepatocyte culture. Hepatocytes were isolated from liver of 8 week old male Wister rats after perfusion with collagenase. Hepatocytes were seeded at a density of 3.5 times 10 to the power of 6 cells per dish. The second method used was plasmid confection and transient transfection. The mouse GK cat plasmid is a PACAT vector. Fragments of the mouse liver GK promoter were subcloned, along with two fragments obtained from PCR using added restriction sites. PACAT vector was spliced using HIND3 and BAMH. These are restriction enzymes. In each experiment, 7.5 micrograms of the cat plasmid and 2.5 micrograms of the luciferase plasmid were co-transfected. The luciferase standardization PRSV plasmid was used to monitor variations in transfection efficiency. The third method used was RNA isolation. Total RNA extraction from cultured hepatocytes was performed using the RNA Zol B reagent. 15 micrograms aliquots of total RNA were electrophoretically separated in denaturing formaldehyde agarose gels and transferred to high bond N plus membranes. The cDNA probes were labelled using random prime labelling. The fourth method used was immunoblot analysis. Nuclear extracts and membrane fractions were prepared from cultured hepatocytes using NEPER nuclear and cytoplasmic extraction reagent kit. Immunoblot analysis was performed using a monoclonal anti-SREBP1 antibody, a lamin AC antibody from cell signal link and enhanced chemiluminescent system. The last method used was design, synthesis and transfection of siRNA. A target sequence in the rat SREBP1 mRNA was identified. Primary rat hepatocytes were cultured in antibiotic free medium the day before transfection. On day 1, hepatocytes were transfected with 200 picomoles siRNA per 20 cm squared dish. On day 2, the medium was supplemented with 100 nanomoles insulin and 25 millimolar glucose. 24 hours later, cells were harvested and either RNA or proteins were prepared. Figure A shows primary hepatocytes were cultured for 16 hours in the presence of 5 millimoles glucose without insulin were then transfected with 7.5 micrograms of SCAT GK fusion gene, 2.5 micrograms of the reference plasmid RSV luciferase and the indicated amount of expression vector for mature SREBP1C. Cells were cultured in medium containing 5 millimole glucose. The square represents absence and the, and the black circle represents presence of 100 nanomoles of insulin. Values are means of four separate experiments performed in duplicate. Figure 1b shows an oven blot. Time course of GK and SREBP1 mRNA accumulation in hepatocytes cultured in the presence of 5 millimolar glucose and 100 nanomolar insulin. Total mRNA was subjected to electrophoresis and blot hybridization. Figure 1c shows an immunoblot. Time course appearance of SREBP1C precursor and mature M proteins. 
membrane pellet and nuclear extract were subjected to a page and analyzed by immunoblotting using an antibody against the precursor and mature forms of SREBP1. Lamin AC was used as a control for the nucleic extract. The blots are representative of three independent experiments. Figure 2 shows the immunoblot. Glycolytic and lipogenic genes induction by glucose and insulin. Hepatocytes cultured for 16 hours in the presence of 5 millimole glucose without insulin and were maintained for a further 24 hours in the presence of 25 millimole glucose and 100 nanomole insulin. Total RNA was subjected to blot hybridization with indicated 32 phosphate labeled cDNA probes. The blots are representative of three independent experiments. Figure 3a is a western blot. Western blotting was performed to detect SREBP1 precursor labelled as P and mature labelled as M proteins. Lamin AC was used as control for the nuclear extract. Figure 3b is a northern blot. Total RNA was subjected to blot hybridization with indicated 32p labelled cDNA probes. Northern blots were scanned and quantified. Each value represents the amount of mRNA relative to that in the untransfected cells, which is arbitrarily set to 100. Values represent means of data from three independent experiments. Conclusions We can conclude that SREBP1C enhanced transcription of the GK promoter in a dose-dependent manner. Other factors could be essential for induction of GK gene transcription. SREBP1C is not the early mediator of insulin effect upon GK gene transcription. Induction of GK gene expression by insulin could occur in the absence of mature SREBP1C. SREBP1A and SREBP1C derive from the same gene and both appear to regulate lipogenic gene transcription. SREBP1C is the dominant isoform in the liver, where its regulation is insulin dependent. The purpose of the present work was to clarify the involvement of SREBP1 in insulin mediated induction of glucokinase. Although a role for SREBP in controlling GK transcription cannot be ruled out, the striking observation that the basal activity of GK cat fusion gene was insensitive to insulin put into question the role of SREBP in mediating insulin effects. Indeed, its involvement in insulin early effect seems rather unlikely since, in the same culture of hepatocytes, the accumulation of mature SREBP1 protein was not seen in the nucleus two hours after insulin addition, whereas glucokinase gene was already actively transcribed. Therefore, SREBP could play a critical role in sustaining long-term GK gene transcription in the presence of insulin. Finally, SREBP1 knockdown using the RNA interface technique severely reduced the effects of insulin and 25 millimole glucose on FAS gene expression, but not on GK and LPK gene expression. These results correlated with the observed response of glucokinase to carbohydrate refeeding in SREBP1C knockout mice. Considered altogether, these data definitely established that SREBP1C is not the early mediator of insulin effect upon GK gene transcription.